Hello everyone, I am Ricky and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. The Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now first things first, we are starting off with news for both Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando. Now as we have gone through the process of, you know, reopening the parks, one of the things that has been happening at both Universal and Walt Disney World are the temperature checks. Now these are done usually before you enter the theme parks, restaurants, resorts, um, and a multitude of other locations while you're visiting property. But these are going to be going away. Now they've actually gone away for Universal Orlando Resort already. So they, that change happened today. And um, according to Universal Orlando, they said that they are excited to enhance the Universal experience with the latest safety updates from local health and government officials, there are no more temperature checks upon entry. That's Universal. Now, um, in addition, Universal Orlando Resort has actually added a different change as well. Social distancing between travel parties is now reduced to three feet. Now still, most of our original safety protocols remain unchanged from wearing face coverings across our resort to our ongoing dedication to cleanliness and sanitization. The big change here though, is that they have actually changed the social distancing from six feet to three feet. So that is a big, big change for Universal Orlando Resort in addition to getting rid of the temperature checks. Now, at Walt Disney World, only the temperature checks have been removed as of right now. Well, actually not quite just yet, um, it is coming. So uh, Disney has shared that since reopening, they have considered guidance from public health authorities, government agencies, and their own team of health and safety experts as they assess and update health and safety measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19. As this guidance continues to evolve, and with the support of local health and government officials, we are making some additional adjustments. Following the advice of the CDC and our local health officials, we will phase out the on-site temperature check screenings at Walt Disney World Resort for cast members beginning May 8th and guests beginning on May 16th. We will continue to follow the guidance of health and safety leaders going forward, and most importantly, encourage people to get vaccinated. So again, Disney currently is not doing away with the six feet social distancing thing. They are only going away from the temperature checks. Now, we will make sure to keep you posted about additional safety guideline updates as they occur for both Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando Resort. Now, we know that one of the big things that people like to do at Walt Disney World is to dine, of course. It's such a huge part of so many people's vacations. And one of the best parts about dining at Walt Disney World is getting to experience a character dining experience. So, of course, with COVID, these kinds of experiences have kind of been put on the back burner. There are a few restaurants that are currently offering a light version of a character meal, uh, but um, soon there's actually going to be a few more options for guests to get to experience. So starting on May, May, or May 19th, uh, 16th, I'm sorry, May 16th, Chef Mickey's, which is currently only offering breakfast, is once again going to be offering dinner. The menu will be an all you care to enjoy family style dinner. And yes, Mickey and gang will also be present, but of course you're only going to be able to snap photos from afar. As far as the menu is concerned, guests will start with Chef Mickey's Caesar citrus post shrimp, uh, poached shrimp salad and assorted breads. For your main choice, you can choose from ganache, roasted garlic potato gratin, plant-based farro, wheat fried rice, prime rib roasted turkey and salmon. Now desserts are going to include a vast assortment of options too. For the kiddos, there's mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, turkey corn dogs, and more. Now, if you're looking for more character experiences, Cape May Cafe at Disney's Beach Club is going to reopen it, be reopening on May 18th. Again, it's not gonna be the same experience. Cape May was a buffet before, so you won't be having Minnie's Beach Bash character breakfast and the seafood and more dinner character buffet. Neither of those things will return immediately. However, for breakfast, guests are gonna be able to enjoy an all you care to enjoy family style meal that features pastries, including a layered crispy cream filled lobster tail Sounds interesting. Uh, omelets and Mickey and Minnie waffles. Now desserts going to include Parker Hoff's rolls, cornbread, a seafood boil with a variety of fresh seafood, the turf platter with chicken and steak, and lobster mac and cheese. Now if you'd like to have dinner at Chef Mickey's or Cape May, reservations for those open on May 7th. That's not all. Moving forward later this summer, Tusker House at Disney's Animal Kingdom will be reopening with a modified character experience where you can take photos with Donald and friends, 
socially distanced, of course. They're going to be dressed in their safari best as they promenade throughout the restaurant, and guests are going to still be able to enjoy family-style entrees with flavors of Africa inspirations, and menu and reservations will be shared soon. There is a change, though. The wave of American flavors and the wave lounge at Disney's Contemporary Resort. It's going under refurbishment, and it's going to be unavailable beginning on July 16th this summer. Now, for those of you who don't know, The Wave has been one of my favorite, favorite places to go over the past few months. It's been a great reservation. Breakfast is amazing. Dinner is incredible. I hope, I hope, I hope that they continue to offer uh, similar menus when they reopen, but I just don't know based off of rumors. Again, I'm not going to speculate on the rumors, but... I really, really hope that they keep some of those menu options like the sweet potato pancakes for breakfast and the bacon and eggs appetizer for dinner. They also had a fantastic ganoshi for uh, um, dinner as well. So I really hope that they keep those things, but we'll find out more as we move forward. Last but not least, Disney's Animal Kingdom is going to be offering a private photo shoot opportunity for guests. Now, they have created the capture your moment option from Disney's Photo Pass, and it's the perfect way to kind of share celebrations. So if you want to commemorate a special occasion like a proposal or a baby announcement or a honeymoon or anniversary or birthday or graduation or some other kind of event, the Capture Your Moment option is a personalized 20-minute photo session with a Disney Photo Pass photographer. And these sessions are simply fantastic. Now at Disney's Animal Kingdom, they're going to take you to nearby Discovery Island with views of the Tree of Life. And guests are going to be able to check in for their photo session and uh, have a one-on-one -on -one chat with their photographer and their the photographer is going to work with you to determine how the session can best be customized to your needs. Uh, and yes, good news, you can remove your face covering while you are getting your photos taken. So that's good news. Capture Your Moment photo session is $50 and can include up to eight guests. Keep in mind, prints and digital downloads are not included, but if you purchase Memory Maker or your specific annual pass holder, you can download those photos at no extra cost. Now, these sessions can begin to be, uh, are gonna be offered daily beginning on May 17th. And to book a session, you can call 407-939-7758. These sessions can be booked up to 60 days in advance. And of course, reservations are very strongly recommended. That's gonna do it for all the news that I have for you today. Make sure that you follow along with the mouse for less on all of our social sites. So you have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. If you weren't following along with us over the past few days, we actually were at Universal Orlando Resort. I got to ride the Velocicoaster for the first time ever. And uh, y'all need to check out my review on uh, our social because it is an incredible coaster. I shared my thoughts with you after I got off. I shared some tips and tricks. So if you're curious about the Velocicoaster, make sure you check out our social media. If you want to book a trip to experience the Velocicoaster this summer, which opens, by the way, June 10th at Universal Orlando Resort, our friends at the Magic for Less Travel will be more than happy to assist you and get you a free no obligation quote. Visit them today at themagicforless.com. If you want to learn more, get tips, tricks, uh, discount codes, everything like that, you can also sign up for our newsletter, themagicforless.com. Hit that newsletter button at the top. That's going to do it for all the news that I have. We will see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Have a great day, everyone.